How you doing? Steve Noble, Noble Moto, out here in the cold shop, uh, my garage. I'm going to replace the shifter linkage on a 05 Dyna. Um, got a little slop in there, and I'll zoom in in a minute and show you what's going on. Uh, we're going to replace that out with a new one from, uh, a replacement one from somebody. Uh, it's just kind of a generic standard replacement. There's a million aftermarket ones out of there. A lot of these are ones as good as another. Uh, I like the stock replacement one because it has a little rubber boot there. Helps keep the dirt out of at least one end of it. Uh, the other end is just a standard rod end heim joint. Um, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, let's get right to it. All right, here we got a zoom in of the rear joint. Uh, basically, what I'm going to demonstrate for you is the slot that's actually in here. I can get my hand in here. And uh, if you hold on to the back part here and rock the front shaft or the shifter, you can see this little bit of slop here. And like I said, that's not a whole lot of slop, you know, and that's probably... That's probably, it's about 53,000 miles worth of wear and tear on there. And it's probably even got a few left in it. But better safe than sorry, let's replace it now before it becomes an issue down the road. Um, and leaves you stranded on the side of the road somewhere. Alright, let's get to it. This is a pretty straightforward repair. Um, going to take two half inch wrenches here. Uh, brace the back, you know, the head of the bolt back there. Take the, um, well, let's get the right size wrench first. Take the box end of the wrench right here, break it free. It shouldn't be too incredibly tight. Eh, still got a little bind going on there on the threads. You don't want to lose this hardware because we might need some of it when we put it back together. See what all we got going on. There's a little Loctite, a little corrosion down in there, so we're going to clean that up before we put it back together. And see, there was a little play going on back in there. So we're going to uh, slide that off. We'll just let that slide forward. It might add, this is the same process for your forward controls is for your mids. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, it's pretty much the exact same repair. So, now we got that out of the way. Uh, we're going to go to the back here. And uh, it's held in place by the shifter. It just threads right into the shifter rod out of the transmission. So we're just going to take the 7 16th wrench here. Put it on the nut. Hopefully, with a little clearance and a little luck, we should be able to break it free. Let's try this way. There's not a ton of clearance in here for wrenches. But there never is working on motorcycles. Ooh. Bust your knuckles there a little bit. And it popped free. Let's see if we can't spin this up out of the way. There we go. And we are turning. All right, so we got the old one off here. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of wear going on. Some kind of some crud buildup in there. Like I said, had some slop going on there. You know, it's not the major, but it, it's definitely good that we replaced it. So out with this thing. Uh, we got the new one right here. Uh, everything's nice and tight, like I said. Now, what we're going to do to simplify uh, is we're going to match this measurement. You can see these two links are a little different here. And the way this works is these are threaded here on the end. And this is just a threaded shaft here in the middle with two jam nuts on it. And as you thread these ends out, that gives you a different length. And what happens is as you as you adjust this length, you know, longer and shorter, that just basically lifts up your shifter higher or lower. So as you're fine-tuning the shifter for wherever you want it, um, you know, you can adjust that link just a wee little bit. Like, I run mine a little bit high, so it clears my steel-toed work boots. So I'll run this a little bit shorter than it would be stock, which would just be a little closer. And it lifts my shifter up a little higher. Well, it's down here. You can't really see it. It's off screen. But shifter's right there. So since the old one's locked in place still, we're going to thread the new one. Whoop, we're going to turn around. Then we're going to thread the uh, ends out to where it's about the same length. This will save me some effort of having to adjust and ride and adjust and ride in the spring. So, going to go a little further on that one. The important thing is you want to have at least the bolt diameter threaded into the threads of, you know, the bolt diameter of thread engagement. That gives you, you know, the, the minimum amount of engagement you need to still have a strong thread and not strip it out. So, we're going to go to right about there. And uh, there we go. That's sitting pretty good. All right. 
run these jam nuts in there. And for the moment, I'm just going to snug them up because there's a little bit of alignment that has to happen here. But I'm just going to snug them up here. That way it's about square. I'm going to eyeball that we have about the same amount of thread sticking out here. You can measure if you want. I'm going on eyeball. That's pretty good. All right. So very important step. When you do this, put the front bolt and the front joint together first. Otherwise, if you put the back joint together, you won't be able to get the front bolt in, as I just figured out, then had to take it all back apart. So, take two with this whole thing. So, we're going to lift the shifter up, slide the bolt through there, take the uh, rod bin there, we're going to slide that through there, and hopefully you can see, eh, my hand's in the way, we'll thread the nut on right there. We're not even going to tighten it up yet, we'll just get her snug right there. Actually, you know what? We're going to tighten her up. So we're going to take two half-inch wrenches. We're going to snatch one on the back. We're going to put one on the front there. And uh, we're just going to snug it on, or tighten it up. And uh, no real Loctite required. This whole thing should just torque down to spec, and everything should tighten up on itself. And then, uh, you know, all the movement should happen, the heim joint there, the, the rod end joint. So... There we go. There's the back. We'll flip that around and be ready to line up for the, or there's the front. We'll flip that around and be ready to line up for the back joint there. All right, here we are. Five, four. All right, got the front joint on. Now we're going to go to the back joint here. We're going to, uh, I'm going to hold the shifter up in my other hand here. But we're just going to thread this in here. Just starting with your fingers. It's a fine thread, so you want to make sure you don't get it cross-threaded. Uh, if you do, you end up having to either drill and tap this out or pulling the whole shifter out of there, which is kind of a pain. So I'm going to start in with the fingers there. It's starting in pretty easy. And All right, we just got this thread in here, and uh, it's tightened up, the 516th 24 thread. Now, originally, it was just a short little bolt and didn't much have much of an extension on there. But uh, the aftermarket sent us a 516th 24 nut with a nylon locking ring in it. So we're going to thread this on in there. And uh, we'll take our half-inch wrench, and we will uh, run this back in. All right, 7 sixteenths wrench on the front, half inch wrench on the back. Probably not going to be able to see what's going on here. And then tighten her all up. Front one's tight. I want to be sure. I'll put the wrench back on here. And tighten this all up again. And hey, that's pretty much it. Oh, sorry. Almost forgot. Now we're going to square these things up so they're nice and square. Now bind the up. Same with the back one. I got the back one. We're going to take our 7 16 wrench there. Slide on the two flats. Then we're going to take our half inch wrench here. We're going to take the lock nut. We're going to turn the lock nut while holding the um, back little ball joint there square. That was not bound up. And just make it pretty snug and tight. And you got to torque shit out of it. The front one, half inch wrench on the rod end, half inch wrench on the nut. Let's grab the half inch wrench, not the 7 16 Tighten around up there. Boom, that's it. Nice and tight. No BS with the shifter. 50 more horsepower, and we'll be ready to run down the road there. Assuming my charging port stays out of the way. Now, you don't have to pull the spark plug wires, all this shit off. You don't pull sheet metal off. I just want a little extra clearance. Plus, I got the sheet metal out for paint right now. So, there you have it. Uh, that's all I got. 
If you uh, like what you see, click subscribe. Boop. That link right down there. And uh, check me out for their YouTube videos. Uh, I teach classes up at Skidmark Garage. Uh, i got a website, www.noblemoto.com. That's K-N-O-B-L-E-M-O-T-O.com. Also, uh, yeah, got their YouTube videos. Got an online electrical class through Coursecraft. If you go to my website, you'll find that. And, um, yep, that's about all I got.